Good day, molto si show. Jena Joe Borch, jena Gianco Macom, al din il gemma. On espera le dane program se io jobcom. An ebda belli menacha ti ai o menacha ta Michael Malia o il crew. Nishti ulcom colla. E sena taiba. Memlia res oena. On espera et kuno o tip au tarau dan il program takom. An amlu intervista le intom hafna il com sa suna. Minuma Alfred or Jasmine Greg. Ara. Alfred, welcome to the Good Day Maltos show. Thank you very much, Joe. Jasmine, welcome to the Good Day Maltos show. Thank you for having us. Now, you have hundreds between you guys in YouTube video clips of different sorts. Now, you have the Malpen 04, right? Mm -hmm. How that came about? Malpen is Mal is Mark Malta, and Pen is Penang, where she came from. Okay, and that's how you put it together put as Mal Pen Mal 04. 04. And you have another one, which is Jasmine Alf and... Fine Life, Fine Life. Okay. Now, how that came about? Uh, actually, it uh, started um, when uh, I started taking photographs, and eventually uh, take some video. Of course, the places of interest uh, in the Malta, Maltese Island mm -hmm. uh, festivities mm -hmm. and uh, all the cultural events that uh, as many as we could attend. And uh, we put it on YouTube. And after that, we received uh, lots of good feedback mm -hmm. from the local and mm -hmm. especially from the uh, Maltese immigrants abroad. And lots of words of encouragement. That's how we continue. Okay. And. Uh, and you keep going stronger and stronger and stronger. Yes, and getting uh, improved better for myself mm -hmm. to take better photos and video. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's how it started. You take videos and also photos, right? Mm -hmm. But who added them together? Uh, Jasmine takes more photos than I do mm -hmm. and more videos than I do mm -hmm. between you and I. Her photos and videos are nicer than mine, but don't mm -hmm. tell anyone. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> the videos, the event videos, normally she handles them when you have moving videos. Yeah. Uh, she does a much better job than I do. You mean editing-wise? Editing-wise. Okay. Number one, she is quite sharp. Mm -hmm. Secondly, she has a lot of patience, which mm -hmm. I don't. Mm -hmm. I normally make many photo videos. Mm -hmm. So I put music pick up few photos, mm -hmm. mostly hair photos, and put some tour about uh, of villages mm -hmm. or whatever. Now, you take films mostly on feast, isn't it? Yes. And uh, the about yes. agriculture or around Malta yes. and Gozo and so on. Cultural and traditional events. Yeah. How yes. did you became to start doing the filming of it? Um, you mean from the interest yeah. I have? Uh, I actually came from a country that is uh, very rich in culture and traditions and mm -hmm. lots of festivities. Mm -hmm. Of course, that has a part of influence uh, mm -hmm. towards me. And uh, when I come to the Maltese Island, I found the culture and of course the history, they are truly amazing. Mm -hmm. So, as I have been always interested in uh, tourism, for my past job, I was uh, with the Tourism Authority of Thailand. And that's eventually it's built up that the more I see, the more I love it. Okay. And I still find a lot yet to be discovered on the oh, Maltese course. Island. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So we haven't seen enough yet. There's lots and lots to come yet. I have a friend, uh, American Maltese, asked me, Jasmine, tell me which place you haven't seen. My answer is, I will let you know when I discover it. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Before you met Jasmine, you were taking photos and... No. She got me into the sickness. <laughs> okay, so all these videos and photos that you've got on YouTube, it came it's after all, you met Jasmine. It's all her fault, yeah. It's all her fault. Fair enough. Beautiful thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I noticed too, when uh, like when I'm in Malta and we together filming or taking photos, especially Jasmine, you take photos, but 
not as much as she does. No. Every hundred photos I take, she likes two of them. So Fair I enough. take them for my own sake, that's all. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what we can say is this. I really, really do you like your photos. Thank you so much. I saw photos that even you took last uh, exhibition last time in the exhibition when I was with you guys and you sent me some and I like the sharpness on it. Thank and you so much. Yeah. And uh, I'm not saying that because you're in here. I'm saying that and that's why we're doing this interview because I really, really like your work. But I like yours more because it's obvious you take more than he does, and he just admitted it. <laughs> but it's really, really sharp photos when you take them. And I noticed too that she's got more patience than you does. Oh, God, yeah. That, that she, <laughs> she has a lot. I don't have any. <laughs> I no. can sell him some. <laughs> yeah. But um, on the same token, I saw that, that you inspire her a lot when she's filming or she's taking photos. I never saw like that you don't care. You walk away. Oh, no, 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 no. You always encourage. encourage her. I respect her hobby yeah. and I, I admire her hobby also. Yeah. And actually, I'm seeing most of Mota because of her. She takes me around. I don't take her around. And that's true because <laughs> when we went to Gozo <laughs> last year too, we were together. She was the director where she was. we going and she was the, you know, the map and she was directing us more than you did. Yeah, she, she remembers the, the, the roads. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I told you, I'm going to make an advertising. I'm going to open a school in Malta, teach people how to get lost. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she remembers the he direction. He will have no yeah. student. So, <laughs> and she's not even Maltese. No. And you've been in here more than she is, and she knows more than you do. Yeah, I know. Fair enough. I kept you honest, that's the main thing. She has a Chinese brain, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me this. I know you're taking photos, and I know you're discovering more things around Malta and Gozo and so on. Anything in the pipeline that you want to do to put on YouTube more than you're doing now? Um, I would like to uh, add, uh, perhaps, on uh, Maltese uh, traditional uh, mm -hmm. cuisines, mm -hmm. because that uh, m there are some Maltese food that you, you don't find it, find them in other part of the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have some friends who are really good in home making, mm -hmm. typical traditional cooking that you don't find in the restaurant. So I may consider that. Yeah. Well, Jasmine. I wish you all the very best. Thank you so much, I Joe. I really, really do like your work. Thank you very much. And I'm much. saying it publicly because I really mean it. Okay, well, keep it that. going. I will. Thank you so much for the encouragement. Thank you. Alfred, I really appreciate, even so you don't take as many as she does, <laughs> but you do and put them on YouTube mm. and all that stuff. Yeah. I really enjoy that. Thank you very and much. And thank you for everything because you are part of our show, big part, you guys. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And keep it going. We appreciate your cooperation with us. No too. worries. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank, Thank you. say good day, Mot Ozzy. For all those who can't watch the show live on television, please go on this website that you can see on the screen right now, and you can watch it live on Saturday at 2 p.m., Monday at 5 p.m., and Tuesday 7:30 in the morning. Now we have our website that you can go on it 24-7 and pass it on to anybody else from Australia and around the world. I hope you enjoyed the show and until we meet again next week, God bless. Good day, Maltosi Show.